And would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? We've just got ourselves Goat Simulator on an account which doesn't own Goat Simulator. Now, doesn't that seem kind of interesting? Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Spiffing Brit. And today, how would you like to have a whole bunch of games which you didn't pay for? That's right, using this 100% legally dubious method, which I'm amazed Microsoft hasn't fixed, I'm going to be showing you how to effectively duplicate an entire Xbox Game Pass library for free. So, of course, before we dive into this exploit, make sure you're sat back relaxed you have a nice warm cup of Yorkshire tea in hand and if you're feeling especially fantastic I want more people to enjoy this exploit before it inevitably gets patched and make sure to like and comment on the video now of course before we start what is an Xbox game pass well similar to the EA play pass which we showcased last week it's basically a monthly subscription service where you give one dollar for one month and then I think it goes up to five dollars and you get access to a whole bunch of games to play on your Xbox as well as in this case also your PC now like all monthly subscription services when you cancel paying your subscription, your service ends, meaning all of these lovely games that you'd been paying for and playing all suddenly disappear. But what if they didn't? Oh no. Now that would be a problem, wouldn't it, Mr. Microsoft Money Man? You wouldn't like that at all. Now, this is an exploit that has existed since day one of the Xbox Game Pass. I was first made aware of it around about one week after the Xbox Game Pass's release, and as soon as I discovered it, I decided to, of course, send a very nice email to Microsoft saying, hey, you are aware that this exists, we didn't get a response. And so today, I thought I'd release this exploit to the public and let everyone have some fun with it until they inevitably fix it. So here's how you get the Xbox Game Pass for free. As you'll notice, we're on a brand new account. This is not my main Xbox account, but as you can see, it has absolutely no games, no collection. It is not signed up for anything. There is nothing here. I don't even so much as have a friend. This is my lovely, testy Xbox Game Pass account. And you see, what I want is I want to gain access to all of these really fun games like Forza Horizon 4, the entirety of the Halo franchise, maybe a bit of Age of Empires 2, I'd love all of that, but the issue is I don't want to pay for it, and I'd like to keep it forever. So what we're going to do is actually sign out of our account here and create a brand new account. Now what we're going to do is create a brand new account using Microsoft because uh, we need one for the purposes of this video. Now in order to demonstrate just how broken this exploit is, we're going to use two completely fresh accounts. The account that you saw at the start of this video, which has absolutely nothing on it, and this brand new account that I'm making for, for an absolutely normal human being. It's Jill Bates, ladies and gentlemen. Not to be confused with Bill Gates, this is Jill Bates, who's I guess Mr. Gates' long-lost sister. A country of origin, we're going to go for, oh, my favorite country, it's Tajikistan. I just love Tajikistan. Date of birth, uh, naturally, we're going to go for the 3rd of November, doop 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 to do 1905. <laughs> Jill Bates has been around for a very, very long time. She's survived both world wars, and there we have it ladies and gentlemen, we've made our incredible account. Now we just need to pick up a gamer tag. That's right, it's a it's our gamer tag, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for Jill Bates. What profile picture can we go for? Oh, we're going to, of course, go for diamonds because I love Minecraft. The account is being created. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jill Bates's incredible account. Naturally, once again, she has access to absolutely nothing. There are no games in her library, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually throw some money at Jill Bates, because effectively all we need to do is get an Xbox Game Pass for Jill Bates to last one month. Now there are multiple ways of getting an Xbox Game Pass. Microsoft has some kind of reward system set up online where you basically just need to, I don't know, follow their Facebook account and their Twitter account a whole bunch of times and they'll give you the Xbox Game Pass for free. But at the same time it is actually just one pound and one dollar so I'm pretty sure anyone can kind of foot the bill for a Microsoft Game Pass, although in reality you only need one person to foot the bill for the Game Pass. And I'll be explaining that later. You just simply need to know someone who has one dollar who is willing to buy the Game Pass and then everyone in the universe can have the Game Pass. That's why this is so broken. Theoretically everyone can have fun for the cost of only one dollar. So what we're going to do is get ourselves the Game Pass ladies and gentlemen, but not just any Game Pass. We're going to get the Game Pass Ultimate Edition, which would normally cost us 11 pounds a month, but because it's our first month on a brand new account, it's only one pound. Now I mean you could keep cycling brand new accounts and only spending one pound each time, but that's a lot of hassle. Instead, you could just get it for free. So we're going to buy Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for just one month. There we go, we're going to join it. Now I'm going to basically need to add a payment method and all of that fun stuff, but alternatively you could just redeem a gift card and pay for it via that. But nope, we're going to use actual proper payment methods now. This one's a business expense. This feels like a business expense right here. One pound on an Xbox Game Pass. I can't wait to explain to HMRC down the line that this one pound transaction was very important and was 
necessary as part of my business job. Yes, my very important business job where I play and break video games whilst trying to run away from legal suits. Right, and there we go. The purchase has been made. We've purchased the Xbox Game Pass and now we have 100 high quality PC games. That's right. New games are added all the time. That's fantastic. I think there are over 5,000 games in total if you include all the games on Xbox as well, but over 100 PC games for $1? I'm not going to complain. But the thing is, in order to exploit the Xbox Game Pass and get it for free, we don't just want these games on one account, we want them on both of our accounts. I and mean, we have the Jill Bates account here, but we also have the Spiffing Brit account. The Spiffing Brit account hasn't paid for the Xbox Game Pass, so can't possibly play any of the incredible high caliber games on the Xbox Game Pass unless he paid for it himself. I mean, surely that's the way the system should be working, isn't it, Microsoft? Well, it's a shame it doesn't work like that, because what we're going to be doing is downloading a game that we want to play. Right, now, of course, in order to ultimately test just how broken this is, we're going to test this on the most broken game of all time, Goat Simulator for Windows 10. Now, we can buy this game for £6, but we've just spent £1 on the Game Pass, so we're going to install this bad boy. It requires 1.8 gigs. How many high-fidelity 4K goats does this game have? Okay, so I'm going to have to download this game, and using my potato internet speed, this is going to take a little bit. But as soon as we finish downloading Goat Simulator, fantastic. Oh my goodness, the poor potato internet speed. Oh no. Oh dear, it's almost as bad as Australia. One eternity later. Right, so fantastic news, ladies and gentlemen. Using my carrier pigeon-based internet connection, I've been able to install Hello Neighbor, Five Nights at Freddy's, Cluster Truck, Forager, this game here, what is it? Among Us, yes, everyone loves Among Us. And then also my personal favorite, Goat Simulator for Windows 10. Now, all of these games normally cost a fair bit of money. However, we get them all for free because of the lovely Game Pass account. But the thing is, we're not going to actually be playing them on Jill Bates' account. No, instead, we're going to load them up once on Jill Bates' account and then show off how to get all of these games permanently for free. So let's play us a bit of Goat Simulator. Of course, it loads up in this very strange way. Yep, this looks like a perfectly legitimate copy of Goat Simulator. I don't understand why Xbox loads games so poorly on PC, because I mean, if I'm opening up a game like that and it appears with a logo and a massive blue background, the game is either from the 90s or it's some kind of dodgy pirate version. <laughs> right, Jill Bates, bam, we're gonna play ourselves some lovely Goat Simulator. Here we go. Now, we don't need to play much of it, but we just need to basically trigger... Oh my goodness, it's loud. We basically just need to trigger the game uh, so that it knows that we've played it on this computer. There we go, perfect. Let's knock over this human being and attack him, headbutt him. Oh my goodness, well, we've killed him and we're, we're stuck in a wall. There we go, classic Goat Simulator experience. I'd say cracking start. We can now close down the game. And there we have it. We've played a little bit of Goat Simulator. We've got it under our belt. We've also got some Among Us cluster truck, all of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to sign out of Jill Bates his account and instead sign into the Spiffing Brit account. Remember, the Spiffing Brit account has nothing on it. It hasn't paid for anything. Jill Bates is just a random friend. Could be anyone's account that you know who has the Xbox Game Pass. So let's sign out of it. And interestingly, even though we haven't signed into a new account, you'll see that all of the games still appear here on the left of our screen. And the interesting thing is that it actually says we can buy these games with a discount with our Xbox Game Pass membership, but we're not we're not signed in. We, we don't have an Xbox Game Pass membership. No one's logged in into this account. Oh no. So let's play ourselves some Goat Simulator on an unregistered Microsoft account that isn't even signed in. Now, of course, when you load up Goat Simulator, the game does ask you to sign into an Xbox Live account. And so what I've done is I've signed into my The Spiffing Brit account and I can just press, hey, let's play. I can give this app access to all of my information. There we go. And we're just going to sign on in to play some Goat Simulator. And would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? We've just got ourselves Goat Simulator on an account which doesn't own Goat simulator. Now, doesn't that seem kind of interesting? Let's load up the game and of course, it runs perfectly. It's Goat Simulator, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone's favorite game. We, we can smash up greenhouses, break everything, run around at high speed, break windows, gain score, and my personal favorite, get hit by car. Let's see if we can headbutt this man. There we go. Oh, yes. And we can just power him into a corner. Come back here, little man. There we go. Lock him into the corner. Punch him. Punch him. Keep him stun locked. There we go. We can keep him against the wall. He's not escaping here. And there you have it, we're playing Goat Simulator without actually owning a copy of Goat Simulator. This is rather interesting to say the least. Anyway, let's close on out of this game because relatively interestingly, you'll notice something very important. We're playing this game without owning the game. As you can see, we're logged into the Spiffing Brit. The Spiffing Brit does not have the Xbox Game Pass. Only Jill Bates has the Xbox Game Pass. And Jill Bates was previously logged into this computer and she had the Game Pass and downloaded a couple of games. But now the Spiffing Brit's on the computer well, guess what? He also
also has all of those games. So what this means is basically, if you have one friend with the Xbox Game Pass and they come over to your house, download whatever games you want to play, and then log on out and leave and never return, you get every single game of the Xbox Game Pass. Every game. And you didn't even pay for it. This is insanely broken. It is completely and utterly 100% not working as intended because it means in order for the entire world to experience the joy of every single game on the Xbox Game Pass, only one person needs to pay for the Xbox Game Pass. Now you might be wondering, what happens if Jill Bates stops paying for the Xbox Game Pass? What if she doesn't end up renewing her subscription? Well, I've got good news for you. Jill Bates doesn't exist anymore in the eyes of this computer. The spiffing Brit has access to all of these games that he didn't pay for and has never paid for and is never going to pay for. Jill Bates could even refund the Xbox Game Pass and get all of her money back and the spiffing Brit gets to keep everything. This is so completely utterly broken, not working as intended that it's absolutely incredible. So let's quit on out of this game and play some others. Oh, like some Among Us because everyone wants to play Among Us for free. Now, of course, this game is free on mobile, which interestingly is where 90% of the audience for this game plays. But you can also pay for a copy so that you can play it on desktop and well, bam, would you look at that? We've loaded up Among Us and we didn't even pay for it. There we go. We can call ourselves spiffing and we can just find a game. We can just join someone's random. Let's just join this one. Would you look at that? We're in the game. Oh dear, I'm a crewmate. And of course, people are just leaving the game because they didn't roll imposter. Gotta love Among Us. What a great game. Let's see what the discussion's like. Oh, and someone else left the game. This is some of the cursed rule sets I've ever seen. There's like five second voting. The game is just going. Who? Why the heck would someone vote for me? Why would someone vote for me? I've managed to vote M off the ship. They were not the imposter. Okay. One imposter remains. Feels great. I'll just call an emergency meeting in four seconds time. This is some of the most cursed Among Us I've ever seen. I mean, we haven't paid for this game, so it doesn't matter. Let's just vote for um this person who's AFK, I guess. Please don't vote me off. Oh, they left the game. Oh, they're going to kill me. Of course they are. Right, this is it. Rip. They could vote me off because I called a meeting. Oh, it was the yellow person. Of course it was. They went down a vent. Well, we have a deadlock of voting. Oh, and they just left the game. So uh, that's an instant defeat. <laughs> Public lobbies of Among Us are so bad. But nonetheless, that's how to get Among Us for free, I guess, as well as all of the other games that the kids want for free, like Hello Neighbor, a game which normally costs £25, which we can play for free. Or Forager, a game which normally costs £16, which we can once again play for free. There's Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, which normally also costs £16. Human Full Flat, which is £12. Cluster Truck, which is £10. All of these games we got for free because there was one account who at the time of logging into this computer was paying for the Xbox Game Pass. The fact that they're no longer logged into this computer, the fact that they will never return to this computer doesn't matter because we still get to keep the Game Pass. This is honestly the most cursed exploit in the universe because as I said, just one person in the entire world needs to pay for the Xbox Game Pass, then release their email and password to the public, let everyone log into it, install all the games they want, and then sign on out. Then they get to keep the Xbox Game Pass. They can play all of the fun multiplayer games via the Xbox Game Pass of someone else's account, which isn't even signed in. We played multiplayer Among Us using a copy owned by someone else who wasn't signed in. It is so scuffed. It is so completely and utterly scuffed. Oh, Microsoft, please fix. I told them about this exploit almost six months ago and nothing's happened. So do your best to try and get this fixed because this is not working as intended. You know what to do, share it around on Twitter, send it to Reddit, all of that. In the meantime, I'll just be playing Goat Simulator, the greatest game of all time. But the best thing is there's even a few perks of actually having the Xbox Game Pass. You get an entire subscription to Disney Plus for some reason. But yes, this has been completely and utterly breaking the Xbox Game Pass. Now, of course, in order to stop Microsoft from copyright striking down this video, we're going to need to cheese some metadata today on YouTube. So hop on down into the comment section and say, I can't wait to buy the Xbox Game Pass because that way it means everyone who's seen this video and is aware of this exploit is going to ignore the exploit and we're not going to do it. Okay, we're not going to use this exploit. No, instead, we're going to buy the Xbox Game Pass. Right, guys? Good, good, yes. So make sure Microsoft knows that we're all legitimately going to buy the Game Pass. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is how to get the entirety of the Microsoft Game Pass permanently using either just one pound of your investment on a spare account that you're only going to use for a one-off payment or alternatively getting the entirety of the Microsoft Game Pass because you have a friend who at one point in the past has had the Microsoft Game Pass. Using this method, groups of maybe 30 or 40 people could share one month's Game Pass subscription between them for the rest of time, which is completely and utterly 
utterly silly. Bugger me sideways with a tea bag, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be one glorious and fantastic exploit, and I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Of course, there are a huge amount of really enjoyable games on the Microsoft Game Pass, so it's well worth checking out. And of course, if you enjoyed today's exploit and you want to make sure that you see more exploits like this when they happen, then make sure to subscribe. And heck, if you want to make sure that you can use the exploit before it inevitably gets patched, then make sure to turn on notifications, because that way you'll always make sure to be there on time so that you can get to use it. Anyway, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. A huge thank you, as always, to all of our majestic Patreons and channel members who make all of these videos all the more possible. Seriously, thank you very much for your support. If you're wondering what video to watch next, look no further than this one on screen now. This is an exploit of us breaking YouTube shorts. If you don't know about the YouTube shorts exploit, you need to watch this video, trust me. If you run a YouTube channel and you're getting 100 views per video, or you're getting 1,000 views per video, this exploit will allow you to get hundreds of thousands of views on your videos, if not millions. It's completely broken, and there has never been an exploit like this in YouTube history, so trust me, you have to watch this video. It is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day, my friends, and goodbye for now.